that they keep on playing. Uh, 639 million hours for you know, a couple of uh, recent games like Call of Duty, One Warfare 3. Require a certain skill level. You just can't, you know, start those games. Now you need to have, you know, a little bit of skill there. Complexity of game mechanics. There are tons of things. Higher degree of engagement. Not just a pastime for many. Like Jonathan Wendell, if people know, he earns doing playing games. You know, fatality. Casual games generally pick and play. You start. There is a game. Cut the ropes. You start. You know, and uh, Angry Bird, same style. Farmville. People play to pass their time, no seriousness is there. It's just, I'm sitting in the loo. Earlier I used to take magazine, but now I just go there and start uh, playing some games, it's fine. Uh, I'm traveling, I can do that. Uh, there is no depth. Short play sessions, I'm waiting for my flight. I've got half an hour, I just start playing game and that's it. You know. So, but this is our definition, you know, what we at Tax think. You know this guy, right, Chetan Bhagat? So he's written lots of, he's casual, you know. <laughs> he, so, he, uh, <laughs> so he's casual and uh, then of course Charles Dickens, so he's like a hardcore Shakespeare and all these kind of people. So this is our, you know, there is another definition. Do you ever goosebump while playing Angry Bird? You know, so, but imagine this shot in uh, Assassin's Creed Revelation, you know, when he actually drops down, he you know, uh, strangle that guy and jumps down. It just gives you goosebumps, you know. Joker dying in Batman Arkham Asylum. It gives, like, the, when I'm talking, I'm getting goosebumps. So, then, pretty much everybody knows this guy, Wen Long. He actually, you know, created this box for himself. He was there for 90 days to finish the LOTR online, you know. And uh, he asked doctors to supply the glucose and stuff. Will you do this for farm will you? No, or... Angry Bird. So generally people, you know, so then of course gaming does not have a priority position in the casual gamer's life. So those who are playing, they like, you know, they just pick and uh, start. It's not a priority for them. But for me or for many others, it's sort of priority. We're not talking about hardcore gamer because it does not exist. I'm just referring to that. You can easily say that like a uh, coffee table book. You just pick, start this thing. It doesn't make you a reader, right? It's that every reader is somebody who can't sleep without it. Pop music always exists, and sometimes it's bigger than the rock music or the pure forms of, you know, this thing. I'm sure not many people know them, but pretty much everybody knows this guy. Or I, if I put Rebecca Black there, you know, so so this this is like you know this is this is Pink Floyd, and this is you know uh, our dear Justin Bieber. So, you know, uh, so that's again, for me, that's casual and that's, you know, uh, hardcore. So th these are some of our definitions at tax. I don't say that these are the, you know, global uh, definitions or anything of that sort. And people keep on saying, like, I always compare mobile with TV, something which is always accessible to you. You just switch it on, choose whatever channel, and start watching it. You take remote, just... Some, just like that, App Store, go there, download any game, you play five, ten minutes, done with it. But for movie, you put an effort. You go to the cinema hall, buy a ticket, go there, and enjoy with your popcorn or whatever. Movie is, for me, a hardcore. TV is casual. So why there is sudden, you know, suddenly people started talking about, you know, big things about Casual, 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 casual is big. Casual is going to replace this entire industry and all that. Uh, they have always been around. Miniclip has been around for the last probably 10, 12 years. 2000, it was started. And they have been registering profits also. It's not that. And Play First, Big Fish Games, they have been around for the last 10, 12 years. You know, so, but the, something which changed drastically is mobile. You know, mobile reached everywhere. iPhone, Steve Jobs. Android, Windows Mobile now, you know, in a, its own fashion. And look at the number of mobile phones, you know. It's huge. You compare with any other medium, you know, mobile is so big. So it's reaching out to everywhere. That's the reason, you know, people started talking about, you know, this. And they're, of course, powerful. Samsung S3 and HTC One X. I, iPhone is little, right? The 4S is still lagging behind, but I'm sure with 5, they'll come back. And they are well connected. They have 3G, Edge, all, all sort of connectivities are there. 
So one more thing, you know, I want to say that a game is fun, or sometimes no fun, you know, uh, you know, no, no matter hardcore or casual. So we don't condemn playing games, you know. We and we are not here to criticize that part of the thing. But as I said, that I want to market, you know, why um, hardcore games still make sense. Look at these numbers, you know. There is always an audience. There is always an audience for Twist, Apox, World of Warcraft. Look at 10 billion dollar revenue. It's huge. 10 million playing subscribers on things, you know, they are paying money for playing this game. Some more number, Halo 3, 11.54 million um, so copies sold till last week. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, 28.2 million. GTA 4, 19.5 million. So these numbers are, you know, compared with, I'm not talking number to number, to number to revenue, you can always compare. So, Another thing I want to say is that traditional gaming is not dead, what people say. And uh, that all the things are fine, it's just that probably the horizon is, is you know, expanding. The number of people playing games are increasing. It's not that the traditional gamers are still there. They still like to play their Max Payne, they still want to play Doom, they are waiting for the next you know, Skyrim, um, this thing. So, but the thing is that now your grannies are playing games. Your, uh, all these, you know, housewives are playing games, kids are playing games. So the horizon is spreading. It's, it's good for the industry. It's, but still, the hardcore more games exist and will continue to exist. One more thing I want to point out here is, sort of below the belt, a lot of companies in India who are talking big about casual games and the mobile game and they say that you know they want to be and this is the you know this is the industry where everything is they most of them tried to be there in the hardcore games before and some succeeded some did not a lot of companies tried so everybody wants to reach out to the real gamers it's just that it's very expensive and it's risky Risky is everything. I'll probably show the numbers why mobile is also risky. You know, so we, but the thing is, this is, and yeah, so that's one of the things, you know, which I wanted to highlight is that why it's not making sense in India is that recently, one week back, there was one statement that India cannot do AAA games. Impossible. Uh, and uh, I, I, I got pissed off with that, but uh, okay. Uh, so the thing is, Drua has been doing and serving the AAA industry for last 15 years, sort of, you know. So you have the art talent there. And our programmers are everywhere in the world. You go to whatever studio, they are working there. Even the programmers here are kick-ass. It's just that they are probably not coming at one place where art is being done for the globe, and the programmers are also reaching there and trying to create something which appeals to the global market. And then there is, you know, a constant, this thing that India want, Indian want to play local content. I actually don't know who has finished Hanuman. No offense to the studio uh, which has done that. But I actually don't know, but I know many here who have finished Doom, Max Payne, Skyrim, all those kind of games, you know. So we actually want to play the same games what Westerners play. It's not that, you know, uh, we are different in that, uh, this thing. Then mobile games, of course, quick money, which I, um, if money comes, then it's quick. But if it doesn't come, because the App Store is huge, you get lost, something what uh, Vinny said. There is no way you can actually 